I'm about to do something that you probably never saw coming. I'm about to tell you a resource where you can get answers to your questions about FPV. You probably saw that come. That's like literally all I do all day long. Okay, no, wait. here's what's different about this time. It's not one of my videos. A lot of people really like the approach of getting answers to videos on YouTube. You just search for your question and you find a video and maybe the video is up to date or maybe the video is from six months ago and doesn't really apply as much anymore. Or maybe there's like five videos that all seem to contain the answer, but they all say something different and it's hard for you to figure out which is the right one. Not everybody learns best in the kind of let's just throw all this stuff at your face and see what sticks environment of YouTube. Some people would like there to be an outline and a, a class and structured lessons from step one to step whatever. Hi everyone, Jacob Howard here, and in this video we are going to tackle radio transmitters. For most people, you are probably going to call this the controller, but the actual term is the transmitter, and you will see why in a minute. A little while back, the guys over at FPV Unlocked started making a course showing you everything you need to know to get into FPV. So there's intro to FPV, what to buy, how to put your quad together, how to configure it, how to fly it. There's even flight lessons, uh, freestyle tricks, PID tuning, and more. And I got to be honest, when I first heard that they were going to do this, I was a little bit jealous because that is, I used to write courseware for a living. Did you know that you probably didn't know that before I was a Wi-Fi installer, which is the last job I had before I became a YouTuber. I did, I spent like 10 years doing classroom instruction and developing courses. So I would write an outline and I would sit down and think about the best way to put the information together and put it all in order and make slides and PowerPoint. Oh, and it was, and I would go deliver the courses. And I've always wanted to do that for FPV, but Every day I sit down and I think, what is the number one thing I could do right now to help? And it's make a video about some pressing issue and there's always more. So I just sit down and I make videos and I've never actually been able to take the time to make a course. So I'm a little bit jealous, but I'm also a little bit proud and thrilled because like I said, not everybody learns best just by searching on YouTube and hoping to find the right answer. So I'm doing a little promo here. For these guys, they have, I've, I've been keeping my eye on them for the last however many months and uh, the materials that they've got have my seal of approval. These guys are good instructors. Their, their production value is on point. They just, this is the class that I wish I had made. Hey everyone, Jacob Howard here, and today we are going to look at your video signal and what to do if you lose it. When flying FPV, one of your most important things is your video link. Without it, you can't fly. So what happens if it gets fuzzy or you lose it completely? When flying, it's recommended to always stay in direct line of sight with your drone. It's normal to have little moments of fuzzy video. Oftentimes you can just keep flying though, but if it continues or gets worse, it's best to turn around and start flying back. Sometimes simply flying behind a tree or obstacle can cause your video to go bad. In these instances, it's important to not panic. If you're flying behind something, it's good to keep in mind an exit strategy. You need to plan on losing some video, but keep flying in a direction where you know you will get it back. If the video gets really bad and you know that the air above your drone is clear, you can punch out or fly straight up to get to a higher altitude where you know you will get a clear line of sight to your drone. So if this sounds like the kind of thing that you'd be interested in, click the link in the video description and buy the course and attend the course and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I think, I mean, I wouldn't be telling you about it if I didn't think it was good, but I'd be interested to hear what you think of it. Um, full disclaimer, the link is an affiliate link. I get a commission for promoting this, but I think you know me enough by now to know that I wouldn't be promoting it if I didn't sincerely believe that it was worth doing. And then since I'm promoting it, I may as well, I mean, I got to pay the bills. So um, the price for the course is normally 300 bucks. They're doing a $100 off coupon right now. So it's 200 bucks. And if you hear that number and you go, this is preposterous, then you're not the, you're not, but as courses go, that's a pretty fair price. And if that sounds right to you, then hopefully uh, you'll enjoy the course and feel like you got a really good deal out of it. That's going to do it. That's all I got to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, 
thank you so much to the guys over at FPV Unlocked for doing what I always wanted to do and never got around to it. Now they've done it and they've done it well. And I probably will, now I'm never going to do it because why? If there's somebody else doing it and they're doing it good, then I'll just go do something else. So thanks.